Hello all, welcome to another video of Components 101. In this video, we will learn how to use the JK flip-flop ICs. So we, there are many types of JK flip-flop ICs and few of them we have covered already like the SN47, sorry, SN7476 over here. So we, we already know how this IC works and we did check out the simulation as well. Today we will learn another popular IC which is the CD4027 and we'll check the simulation of that over here so these jk flip-flop ic's are commonly used for latching an input or as a memory element so these days microcontrollers are replacing all the digital ic's but still if you're trying to build something cheap for a specific application jk flip-flops will really be useful so this is a circuit diagram where i will demonstrate how to use a jk flip-flop as a latching circuit so let's go ahead and uh, turn on the simulation okay the simulation is on now before that let's take a look at the truth table so that we'll actually understand what's happening over here so let's get into the data sheet and over here we have the truth table if you take a look the thing that you have to concentrate over here is it works only when the clock pulse goes high and when it goes low there is no change and the other things we don't have to care about for this circuit and one more thing to notice is that whenever the j bit is high the output side the q bar will go low and q will be high and similarly when k gets high on the output side q will be zero and q bar will be high so this property can be noticed in the simulation as well. So here we have the output Q and Q bar. And right now it is in reset state. That is when both J and K are 0, the output will be like Q bar will be on and Q will be 0. So the thing that you should consider is your output will be over here on Q. It will be latched over Q and your input pulse will be given to pin J. And the clock pulse will usually be a PWM signal, but for demonstration purpose, I have used a, a push button here. You can use a PWM signal or any square wave for that purpose. So now, to show you, let's uh, make the J bit high and give a clock pulse. As you can see, the output has shifted from Q bar to Q and it remains latched, meaning irrespective of the position of the J bit for how much of a clock pulse you give, the output will remain latched and the, the output will remain latched with Q. That is Q will be high and Q bar will be zero. So this condition will be reversed only if the K bit goes high. Until that it will be remembered and for how much of a clock pulse you give, the, J, the pin on Q will be high and Q bar will be low. So to reverse it, we have to make the K bit high and it goes back. So similarly, even here, how much of a clock pulse you give, it will remain latched unless the J pin goes high. So this is how they use the JK flip-flop for latching circuits. It will be very useful when your output is just a PWM signal or a just short pulse and you want that pulse to be read by a microcontroller or say you want some output to be latched for that particular small pulse, then JK flip-flop will really be useful. So again, if you want to check more details on this, you can visit the link given at the description of this video. Thank you.